welcome back friends welcome back in another video from microbiology with chakanik so this video is the video number two of vitamin lecture series so here from now on we will going to start our discussion on various type of water soluble vitamin so in the first video of water soluble vitamins we will going to talk about thiamine so let's get started with the video so thiamine is also known as vitamin b1 so here the main goal of our today's video is to see the conversion of thiamine into its biologically active form thiamine pyrophosphate and i hope you know that thiamine pyrophosphate is a important coenzyme of various type of biosynthetic pathway right so here in this video we will going to also see two important biological reaction where thiamine pyrophosphate act as a coenzyme then at last we will going to talk about two important deficiency disorders so that is the main goal of our today's video so first topic the conversion of thiamine into its biologically active form thiamine pyrophosphate so here i am going to explain the concept with the help of a picture before that i would like to recommend you to take a screenshot of it so that you can use this as a note so we will going to understand how thiamine will be converted into thiamine pyrophosphate with the help of this picture so as the name suggest thiamine pyrophosphate what we have to do we have to add two phosphate group with the thiamine right so first we have to recognize the phosphate group donor so here the phosphate group donor will be atp from the atp two phosphate will be removed and this atp will be released as amp and the two phosphate that we have removed from atp will be attached with thiamine that will lead to the formation of thiamine pyrophosphate so here the enzyme that will going to take is thiamine pyrophosphate synthetase so first we have to learn about thiamine so thiamine consists of two things one is substituted thiazol ring which is thiazolium another one is substituted pyrimidine ring which is aminopyrimidine and this thiazolium and aminopyrimidine will be joined together via a methylene bridge okay so that is the structure of thiamine and here two phosphate group will be attached with the substituted thiazol ring which is also known as thiazolium ring remember this thiazolium ring is the catalytically functional group of the thiamine okay so that is the idea how we can convert thiamine into its biologically active form thiamine pyrophosphate now the second goal of this video that is to understand two reaction that tells us thiamine pyrophosphate act as a coenzyme right so first one is the oxidative decarboxylation of pyruvate into acetaldehyde this is a important reaction of fermentation right because from acetaldehyde with the help of another reaction we can create ethanol right so here the enzyme that will going to take part is pyruvate decarboxylase and here this thiamine pyrophosphate will going to take part as a coenzyme so another important information that this pyruvate decarboxylase is an enzyme that usually not present in animals but it is present in microorganisms that why they can produce ethanol right and we often use them for production of ethanol right another important reaction is the reaction involved in our pentose phosphate pathway involving enzyme transketolase so here xylulose 5 phosphate and ribose 5 phosphate will be converted into glyceraldehyde 3 phosphate and pseudoheptulose 7 phosphate and the enzyme that will going to take part is the transketolase so now on the third goal of this video is to understand about the deficiency of vitamin b1 so two important disorders occurs due to deficiency of vitamin b1 one is the most common and important one beriberi another one is wernick 
Korsakoff syndrome. So beriberi is usually associated with those areas where polished rice is the major component of diet. So that's the video for our thiamine. So I hope this video will be helpful for you. Thank you.